can I tell you about a movie you're going to absolutely love? Do it and do it quickly. <laughs> it is called The Star. Right. And it is the story of the nativity animated from the perspective of the animals. Oh, you had me at that. <laughs> <laughs> Sell me anything on the, from the perspective of an animal. Led, led by a donkey called Bo, voiced by Stephen Yun from The Walking Dead, who has a... Glenn. <laughs> yes, Glenn from The Walking Dead. He has a pigeon friend voiced called by... Dave, played by Keegan-Michael Key. I'm in. Yeah, I know. I'm in. <laughs> and they have they have a sheep friend whose voice I forget. Um, um, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm gonna go to IMDb. I'm, I'm I'll absolutely go to pulling up the list. And uh, in, they are trying. They are basically escorting Mary and Joseph on their way to Bethlehem to give birth to. Yeah, Ad Bryant. Sorry, was the was the oh thing. Uh, from uh, Saturday Night Live? Yes. Yeah, uh, I like it. Zach Levi and uh, Gina Rodriguez are Joseph and Mary, respectively. Christopher so, uh, Palmer- Jane Jane Virgin. Yep. yep. Uh, Crystal Plummer is Herod. Good and, casting. <laughs> right. And uh, as the... Was, was it originally uh, Kevin Spacey? Was it? Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you see, that's the thing. I absolutely believe that, because I wasn't looking at your face. Absolutely believe that. But here's where it gets interesting. Ving Rhames, Oprah Winfrey, what? and Tracy Morgan are the three camels r- ridden by the three kings on the way to the birth of Christ. Oh, and Anthony Anderson's in there. And Anthony Anderson's in there. Mariah Chris, Carey's Chris, in there. Chris Christopherson's Kristen in Chanowith. there. Yeah, Tyler Perry is Oprah. in there. Yeah, I know. It is, it, oh, it, this is a who's who. It really is. I'll tell you what. Here's a script. Uh, here's a script. <laughs> <laughs> here's a script. Here's a clip of the... <laughs> didn't have to watch a film. We were all just given this. We didn't watch them. We just read the script on the bus on the way home. Uh, <laughs> you, animation wasn't done yet. <laughs> uh, here is a clip of the three camels uh, bickering. Hang on! Cyrus! Jabra! Come on, guys! Wait up! I expected a left turn two deserts ago. I can't believe we passed that last oasis. I'm getting thirsty. Lost! Oh! <laughs> These wise guys are lost. Wise men don't get lost, Felix. So you're saying they know where this birthday party is? And what makes you so certain it's a birthday party? Oh, here we go. Have you seen the presents these guys are bringing? Gold, myrrh, frankincense? Could be a baby shower. You bring gifts to a baby shower. Baby shower? What is a baby going to do with frankincense, silly camel? It's a birthday party. (laughs) Clearly none of those were actually lines in the script. They just told Tracy Morgan to just say yeah. whatever he wanted. Tracy, and, be a camel. <laughs> yeah, Tracy, just pretend you're a camel for a minute. What would you say if you were a camel? And he just came out with some Bible-related stuff, and they mm. thought, actually, that kind of weirdly lines yeah, up. Let's, let's have that. Uh, it was Tyler Perry instead of Ving Rhames, sorry, as, as you corrected me. Um, so, so it's Tyler Perry, Tracy Morgan, Oprah, and Winfrey. Oprah Winfrey. They are the camels. Uh, this is, it's pretty snoozeworthy. It's relatively un, un, unchallenging a film. It's kind of dull at times. The animation is a bit basic, a bit iOS game. You know, like a, a game that a child will play on iPad. In fact, it plays a lot like you know those those weird Christian video games they make for young for the young children of devout yes. devout fundamentalist Christians. It plays a lot like one of those. Um, the scale of threat in it is is more or less non-existent. The stories are annoyingly twee and sickeningly sweet, and you just sit there and think, if I were four, I'd find this patronising. <laughs> and you come away from it thinking there were a lot of Christmas, a uh, lot of sort of choral poppy Christmas songs. In there, there's a lot of anachronistic, uh, you know, pop songs about uh, you know Bethlehem and things you like. Okay, fair enough. And then the weird part for me personally is that over the end credits, they play the the young life of Jesus in still still image cartoons with the donkey present. So that basically, we get Jesus's life from the perspective of the donkey, and I'm sort of thinking, isn't it very telling that you stop that just be- you stop that before you get to the crucifixion? Yeah, yeah. How old is this donkey? Like- I know this donkey lives forever, but uh, yeah, <laughs> make of that what you will. Also, it's a children's film with Chris Christopherson in it. I'm never going to call that a bad thing. No, that's uh, that's okay. On screen. <laughs>